Welcome back to Let's Play Revelations, the DLC chapter for Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, we retrieved the Chaos Claws, and left them in the City of the Damned. Or Gabriel will be able to retrieve them in order to defeat the Gorgon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. You're not the right guy. I wanted to stab you. Do you fucking mind? I need to kill you. I am many things, friend, but your prey is not one of them. If you guys had done your homework, you'd realize you were dealing with the wrong vampire. Your priest is dead! Now what are you gonna do? Well, then you have another one, I guess. It's a good thing you brought a spare. The Brotherhood is counting on us! How embarrassing. That magic sword did you a lot of good. Eh, yeah, close enough. Still get to, uh... Oh, no, I don't. Oh no! Now you're both dead! I don't think I've used a single one of those, this, uh, whole area. Let me check something. Arg. Oh! Bloody Lancer. That's a new... I, I, knew, I thought that was a new enemy type. I didn't realize it was a different listing than the uh, regular Bloody Skeletons. Ahem. Bloody Lancer. The remains of the elite guard, who one day fought at the forefront against, uh, against the forces of the Brotherhood of Light, were left afloat adrift after the defeat of the Prince of Darkness. However, the cursed blood of Dracula soon invaded the castle, covering their bones and reviving their extremities to defend the legacy of their lord. The Bloody Lancers are experts in the use of the weapons that give them their name, and they use their disciplined combat training to impale any creature, beast, or man who dares enter their, their domain. Step aside, or I'll crush your bones, Alucard. You know, Alucard never actually said this to this guy, but, uh, at the same time... Ugh, stretch. It's not like he was going to say anything that could be quoted there. And I'm just and with the addition of that other line that he never said, you know, with the broken bones, uh, I'm just gonna write it off as you know, it's a master librarian style line. I was actually kind of hoping he would show up in this because the only other game he was in, well, the only game he was in was uh, Symphony of the Night, and that was the game where he played as Alucard. So I figured, you know, there was a chance. No, I'm not exactly as disappointed about that not happening as I was about Legion never making an appearance. 
Oh, that's right, that's why I went to the start menu in the first place. Uh... Oh, clever. This says magical energy. What about over here? Huh, it does say that. The energy of the ensnared demon constantly regenerates the igneous and glacium magic for a limited time. When its influence vi finishes, the host's magic reserve is depleted. Well, good on them for making like little uh, animations with, with Alucard and Gabriel's place. I don't know why. I'm just gonna bring this up right now. But for some reason, I find it much easier to think of this guy as Alucard than I do to think of the protagonist from the main game as Dracula. They never really used the bumpers for anything in this game, did they? You know, I might actually keep uh, going until I get these last two skills. There's an achievement for that. I didn't feel like bothering to get all the other little skills for the, uh... The Void Sword and the Chaos Claws, but... Wait, why does this door not... Oh shit! Alright, that's where I am now. Take him down! I don't care. He's large. You get out of my way. You are not important enough for me to bother with. Damn it. I don't know how to get back in that door. It's closed on a timer. Kill him. Fuck off. Boss fight music. Oh. You know what? Jump cut. I must return to the city and protect my father from his enemies. Where the fuck am I? I ended up hitting a, uh... Ah. I ended up hitting Restore Checkpoint. You can't win. Great. You can't catch me. Because... Well, I was hoping Restore Checkpoint would bring me back out of this place so I didn't have to... Oh, hey, look at that! There was a thing in here all along. I, I didn't make it to the uh, dodo on time, but there is one in here. So there's that. You found an igneous secret box. Your igneous magic capacity has increased. Well, not a total waste then. Because there's this thing I saw. You know, this is the DLC. I don't want there to be, you know, an entire video dedicated to just treasure collecting. Because I got rather, uh, my fill of that in the previous game. Alright. Guess I have to retrace my steps in order to get out of here. I am going to be really, really happy to see you guys drown in blood. Too late. Let us eradicate the shadows. 
I'm sorry I couldn't hear you over the sound of your own eminent doom. Oh, I get it. The, uh, sim the uh, images on the vases represent the blood uh, rising and falling. Ha <laughs> uh, they drowned. That's right, kids. Inflict the blood on your enemies. Take a look around to make sure. Some of those spots are really clever. I don't know that I would have noticed the one where I had to look straight up and find that little shaft in the ceiling. Is that one of the first room I probably would have noticed eventually? Uh oh. Oh, shit! I was trying to find my way back up to look around for shit like this. Let's, let's look up and... really nicely hidden by the shaft. Okay! Booyah! You have found a life secret box. Your health capacity has increased. You know, they say every father hopes that his son will surpass him. And here we see that Alucard has gained full health, or Gabriel failed to do so. Find assholes in here. Oh, once you be this area once, there should really just be a, you know, go through lever. I'm guessing this is where the, uh. where it was trying to lead me. Looks like I have. One more on each of the magics. As I was saying earlier, you know, I don't really want there to be a full video for just finding shit in this series. Oh, I get it. Oh, fuck. The stupid flamethrower is there. So that you can't just uh, drop Alucard there and run over in the uh, wolf. I didn't even think of that. If Trevor just likes to do things the right way. Time. do this and then head back. I mean, it's like I was saying. In addition to not wanting to have a uh, collection video in the DLC, I'm pretty satisfied with the way I was before I even found those last two boxes. And now I've got full health, almost full magic. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm better than uh, Gabriel was. in mind, I'm going to jump cut back to the uh, beginning of the area. Okay. Time to go have a chat with Mama.
Rise from your grave! Yeah, okay, you can just beam over the, the, the one room in the City of the Damned. Thank you for your service. Sorry uh, that Gabriel won't be able to bring you back to life. Uh, rest in peace, I guess. Thinking on it, since they're both basically designed to create puzzles, I think in the long run I would have preferred, uh... I don't know which I would have found more annoying uh, altogether. If the full game had been full of, uh... You know, the existing uh, so-called stealth sequences, which are really just puzzles, or, uh... If those had been replaced with a whole shitload of timed, uh... Timeless vision puzzles. Coffee. Shame I uh, waited too long and let the end get cold. Um, I mean, on the one hand, I hate a ticking timer in a video game. I hate that. But on the other, you know, the stealth sequences required some pretty precise timing too. They just, uh, well, they just hit it better, you know. They just didn't tell you, go now, or you know, here's two seconds for you to act. Ah, oh, well. It is time. Father will soon be awake. Now I must return to the city and defend him from his enemies. It's gonna be okay. He can do it. Everything will be all right. Hmm. Zobek's lieutenant, I presume. He is coming. Father. I am ready. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. They actually look more alike now than they usually do. I'm gonna do that again, because he did the idle animation there. There. Fancy. What? The window! The window is fixed. Does that mean that Zilbeck hasn't even gotten here yet? For a second there, I thought that when I walked up to the throne, he would, like, shapeshift himself to look like Gabriel and then go through that scene with him. I know it's ridiculous, but that's what popped in my head. I like this bit right here, I have to admit, because... Uh, of course, you never actually got to run around in this area in, in any of the games, even though this, this showed up in the after credit sequence in, uh, in uh, Lords of Shadow 1, and then was lovingly recreated at the beginning of Lords of Shadow 2.
Finally! I don't need this, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh look, I did take a little bit of a hit. Well, there you go. Just because he drinks blood doesn't make him a bad guy. Whoa. Oh, um... Oh, fuck, I don't remember his name, but this is a recurring enemy from the Castlevania series. The pterodactyl-looking demon guy with a spear. He's usually a com It's either Slogra or Gabon, that's right, because he's always accompanied by this other demon. And I don't actually know which is which. All right, enough uh, fa uh, faffing about. on time. Well, well. So it was your presence we felt. We thought it was your father. My master is going to be so disappointed. Yes, he is. Nice armor. I was looking for a dragon. Oh, shit! Oh, please. Don't be the forgotten one. I guess he just doesn't show up here at all. Well then! I'm Burning Dog Face, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode of... Uh, Let's Play Revelations, the DLC for Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. When Trevor Belmont takes on Zobek's lieutenant in order to set the final piece of the puzzle into motion. In order to pave the way for Gabriel Belmont to save the world from Zobek and Satan. Later!